how to make her want you more and more. Hi everyone, I am Apollonia Ponti. I am your dating and relationship coach, founder of ApolloniaPonti.com, and I'm your coach for you men to build your attraction, authentic attraction, master your confidence, and really cultivate that healthy relationship with yourself and a woman in your life. And let's get started. Now the biggest thing in how to make her want you more and more and things to say is at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you one line that is a really good line that is very beneficial for you men to know and to use on a woman that you really like. But the main point here, and there's a couple main points I'm gonna be um, alluding to in this video is in order for you to make her want and you more and more, you have to understand you wanna fuel her fire without making her know that you want her, right? So how do you do this? Well, this is how you do it. You don't openly tell her that you want her. You don't openly tell her all the time that you like her, but you basically, and you can do it in a third person type of role, or you can also influence it by off telling her that he, she wants you um, and just saying things that are kind of swept under the rug, right? So um, I see the way that you're looking at me. You know, that's an example, or you can say, Oh, wouldn't you like to know when she asks you if you're dating, you know, uh, um, if you're seeing other people or anything like that, and it's the beginning of the time period and you just say, oh, wouldn't you like to know? This boosts attraction, right? Um, but then fill it from there, wouldn't you like to know? Pause and then say to her, I've, pro I've only got my eye on one thing. I don't know if she's standing in front of me or behind me, but it's your guess. So now do you see what I mean? You aren't directly telling her that you want her. You, you are fueling her fire. You are building mystery. You are building curiosity. And this is so important when it comes to just escalating with a woman sexually, because this is how you get her to want you more and more. You can be this respectful guy and she's gonna say, great, he's this great guy and he's like, I want him, he's good on paper, but how do you make her feel? That's how a woman understands that she recognizes that she likes this guy. Women don't just instantaneously say, look at a guy and say, I like him. Men are completely different. They can look at a woman, have a conversation and be like, I like her. But with women, we need convincing. Okay, and the reason being is because women operate totally different than men do. We are more emotionally um, affected by how a man makes us feel, and that's what makes our decision to know if we like this guy. So the first five minutes of you talking to her doesn't mean that she likes you, and you have to showcase it over time, either first date, second date, third date, but you also want to escalate in the process of being this respectable man that you already come off naturally as. So alluding to the next step that I wanna give you on this video on how to make her want you more to more is is pace yourself. And I saw this quote somewhere, I can't remember, and I was talking to my client about it the other day and he like had a light bulb go off in his head when I said this, but it was about pacing yourself. And I want you to think about this in this way. If you downloaded my seven common mistake ebook um, that men make when attracting women, I always talk about the metaphor that I say, don't dive head first in a three foot pool, three foot pool. Instead, you gotta swim your way up to dive your way into a nine foot pool. You know what I mean? But in this particular situation, I love this metaphor and I don't know where I saw this quote, but pacing yourself with this woman. What I want you to do is think of a crock pot, not a microwave, right? You gotta build the anticipation. In the crock pot, like you're cooking and it takes hours and it takes time. The season it has to fulfill whatever meat that you're cooking in that crock pot, let's just say. And it takes hours and it takes time because you are investing in that time. In a microwave, it's quick, it's instant. And a lot of us are trying to get that microwave effect really, and not pay attention to building the attraction, right? And the attraction comes in different levels, in different ways. And the only time that it comes in different levels, in different ways, if you do it directly, is when you pace yourself, which alludes to the next tip that I wanna give you on how to make her want you more and more is go after what you want and don't shelter your ego. So what I mean by this is a lot of times we get comfortable in saying, uh, I'm not gonna do that because she's just not gonna like it, or I'm not gonna do that because it makes me feel uncomfortable, or you give her excuse and you say, you know, she's too beautiful, so she's not gonna be attracted to me because this is easier for you. Because this is what makes you feel safe. This is how you protect your ego because she's beautiful, more beautiful than you and you're not that handsome or you don't think that you're that handsome, that she's not gonna want you. Mm, that's not the case. Women don't, are not attracted to a man just because he's this good looking guy. Women are attracted to a man that makes them feel great, 
that brings a great presence, that basically has, I don't like to say this, but has game. And it's not about a game that you play with her emotions. No, he has authentic game, meaning that he knows himself and he is not passive, he is not shy, and he goes after and gets what he wants. I can guarantee you, men, if you have this mindset and that mentality in your head, you will score women like crazy because this is what stands out from the bunch of them. There's so many men out there that are hiding behind their ego, and I'm not bashing you guys for doing this because I know I work with you guys because I know the fact of the reasons of why this happens and I talk about this a lot in my videos. But what I'm saying here, is I'm not bashing you. What I want you to understand is that you have it in you. I want this to be brought out in you. I want you to operate from a place of security, from a place of groundness, from a place of confidence, so you don't operate off of the ego because the ego sometimes holds you back as well. And we make up excuses for, okay, I'm too sure, I'm not going to like her, she's not gonna like me. No, I've dated short men before. That's not even the case. It's about how you show up and I know you have it in you. So this is why I do these videos because hiding behind your ego and sheltering yourself and not going after what you want is ultimately just going to make you either more curious as to why or it's gonna have a counter effect and really make you sad about you not showing up for you and that's not what I want. Um, so this is the last tip I want to say in this video is pay attention to others um, and not 100% her, right? So let's just say that you're meeting with her with, up with her with a group of friends. A lot of times we just focus on that one woman that we like, right? But you also want to show her that you can focus on other people and that you are in demand with other people. Not meaning all these girls want you, but you get them to like you, right? Let's just say she's a room with a group of friends. Talk to her friends too, because guess who she's probably going home with? If, I mean, if things go well, maybe she'll go home with you, but anyways, I'm going off track here, but let's just say that she's going home with these women, right? And she, they're going somewhere else afterwards, or the next day, she's the one that's talking to them about the night and things like that. And this is where these girls can help you, men, okay? Think about this. That guy last night that was talking to us, he was really nice. Did, he, did you give him your number? I thought I saw you give him his number. Good word in, right? Oh, we were talking about this. It seems like he like loves, loves to travel. He told me about this. That's so cool that are you gonna go out on a date with him? I would definitely go on a date with him. Now they're planting seeds for you. They're doing the work for you. So that's why it's so important, not even with just friends, but just with people in general, is to not always pay attention to her 100%. You wanna pay attention to her, but not give her all of your time and invest that. Invest in other people because then when she comes home and she talks to her girlfriends, if you don't invest in other people, they're just gonna say, what guy? I don't remember this guy. No, show him your presence. And lastly, I want to allude to the last thing on what to say to her when you're going out on a date with her and you notice that you like her. And this is a really driver in attraction and also escalating and boosting sexual um, tension with you um, and her. And I talk a lot about this in my boot camps and I do this for you guys in my special boot camps. I don't just say one word. We go over a lot and we go over things like this. So let me give you something to say to a woman that you like. Is you look at her on the date and you just sit back and you say, you weren't the type of girl that I thought you were. And then she automatically thinks, well, what do you mean? What type? So now you've what's happening in her head by you saying you weren't the girl, uh, the type of girl that I thought you were, means what's going on in her head is that she for a second has to think, oh, does he not like me? Does he like me? This is confusing. So now you're getting her to think about you in a different way and think about and, and really enhance herself so she can show up better for you. And then she's going to ask you, what do you mean? And then you just don't give her an answer. You just say, no, nothing, nothing bad, nothing bad. And you just smile. And this helps you boost the attraction between you and her and also escalates sexually. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, I have something special for you because of the fact that you stayed till the end of this video. I have something when you go on a date and you really want to get to know this woman. And this is for like the third, fourth, fifth date when you guys get closer. It's called my 20 question manual to get to know a woman's true self. And I'll put that below in the description link below. As always, I enjoy your comments and questions. I'll see you again in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.